Hi folks and welcome to another Sonic Academy video. In this one we're going to look at Ableton Live 8. I have a preview copy in front of me here so we'll look at some of the, the new features and I'll let you know what I think of them. The first one I'm going to look at is the Browser Wave display and this is a very simple new addition. Now when you select a, a track to preview you get a wave display. This is really handy for longer tracks being able to tell what's on them or scrubbing through before you import them in. And gives you a bit more information, you know, in terms of being able to see the waves, etc. So, a good new addition. The next new feature I'm going to look at is some of the new plugins. And the first one is the frequency shifter. And this is basically like a ring modulator or, a, or just a basic frequency shifter. And I'll let you hear what it sounds like. I suppose it falls into that sort of lo-fi category. Got your red foe as well. So not a bad we plug in. The next one, and I think this is one of the biggest ones, is the multi-band compressor. I suppose I should put in the limiter as well. Um, again, just having a, a full mastering section is something that's been missing from Ableton for a long time. So this is a, a really, really good addition. And it's pretty good quality stuff as well. And easy to use. You've got your threshold by dragging up and down. Or by dragging sideways, and then how much compression or expansion you want on it. And then the limiters, basic stuff, you've got a ceiling height. So you can put your ceiling to that and just turn your gain up. So again, both very useful plugins. Um, and ones that um, people have been waiting for for a while. So it's good to see them here at last. The next one is Overdrive. And this is based on the sort of boss pedals that you used to get sort of a, for guitars. Very good plug-in actually. It's a very nice tone off it. I'll fire a wee synth on. And we can hear what it sounds like with with that. So there you go, um, I think it's a great plugin. Uh, just a really, really sweet sound in overdrive, great for synths and stuff like that. So very, very worthy addition. And the last, but certainly not least, is the vocoder. Um, and I've had a, a good play about with this and it sounds fantastic. Um, it's probably one of the best I've actually heard. Very easy to set up with uh, Ableton's internal routing as well. So it's um, a real bonus. Again, I'll load a synth up. My new favorite synth, the Slynth. 
Um, I'm going to be doing a quick demo of this synth as well. Um, it's just an amazing, amazing synth. Came across it the other day on the internet and I thought I'd share it. So I'll be doing a, a quick run through of that in a wee minute. Um, so our vocoder, we've got um, a couple of different sources. You can use internal noise, modulator. pitch tracking. So some cool stuff there. And where it gets really interesting is obviously using external. And we're going to use the synth for the external. So, really nice sound. Um, I'm going to fire a vocal sample and you can hear what it sounds like with vocals. Um, there we go. Um, You can hear there, there's um, the sensitivity here, it adds sort of um, uh, an air to the consonants. Um, it's like a white noise and it really helps the definition so it's great for the great for vocals are really you can really hear what they're saying a lot of vocoders you, you know that still sounds really muddy but Another can give you the strength of a lion. Only one in a cycle of life can... So there you go, there's the vocoder. Um definitely my favourite plug in edition. Um and worth worth the money alone probably I'd say. So um that's all the plugins. Um next up well actually there's one more feature that I will look at that's sort of related to, to plugins. And this is the new plugin parameters. And um, previously when you twirled open this um, button here you just had a, a, a whole list of hundreds of parameters that you were you could assign to um, your controller or whatever and um, now they've made it a lot easier you only really add the the functions you want so you hit configure and then you basically just click on any of the parameters that you want and they'll appear below take configure off and now you have all the all the parameters you want and doesn't have any of the other other stuff you don't need so again just a really really useful feature so that's plugins and um, next we're going to look at the, the new warping engine <laughs> 